Okay, we'd now like to show you how to dry mount an oil painting uh, down onto a piece of board. Uh, the board that we're using here is uh, three millimeter hardboard or masonite that we're gonna stick it down onto. You'll notice here that the, the, the picture that we're using is an actual oil painting, uh, one from the Far East here that is quite common these days. And you'll notice that there's a lot of raised areas where the oil is uh, raised above the canvas. So we, this is gonna be a little bit tricky, but we've gotta be a little bit careful with this. Um, we're not actually going to use dry mounting tissue here either. Um, dry mounting tissue is very good for flat substrates on flat substrates. So photographs, paper prints, etc. down onto flat boards. We're actually going to use a product called dry mount film. And dry mount film, again it's a double sided adhesive, but it's much more aggressive and it will flow into the hills and valleys of the canvas underneath and give you a much better bond. Okay, so the first, what we're going to do, this is going to be a two part operation. We're going to put the picture to one side first. Okay. Uh, and the board. Just move that out of our way. We'll start here. This is a, uh, the double-sided mount. Uh, sorry, the dry mount film uh, is a double-sided adhesive, uh, heat-activated adhesive with a release paper on both sides. So we're going to just take off one side of the release paper. Okay, we can discard that. Then we're going to use the piercing tool, and we're just going to lightly pierce through the film. <laughs> Always pierce through the film and not through the paper. Um, if you pierce through the paper, the likelihood is that you're going to push fibres of paper into the film, which might create lumps underneath the print. So, we'll just do it in the both directions, okay? Let's move our print out of the way. We're going to take our board. So we'll clean it down, clean the hardboard down, use an attack cloth or attack rag, give that a good wipe down. You'll notice that there's quite a bit of residue that comes off the board. It's always good to get that clean. We'll take the dry mount film, flip it back over, lay it, lay it down onto the board, position it in the center. Let's give that a light smooth out. Um, we can then pop that back to the press that can go into the press. We're actually just going to pre-coat the board with the adhesive. So again, just fold back the release liner. Sorry, the silicon release film. Flatten it out into the press. And we'll process that. Bond that onto the surface of the board for about a minute. So we've now processed this in the press, so this is now a pre-coated board. It has the second sheet of silicon release paper on top, so we need to remove that. So we'll just dig a knife into the release liner, lift it up. You'll notice that the adhesive is then stuck down onto the board. We can take that piece of silicon release paper away, throw that out of the way. Take your print, making sure that there's no loose pieces of cotton that are stuck over the back. We can then Lay that down, making sure that it's level with the film. Okay. This can then go into the press. Again, on the base of the press on some foam. Again, silicon release film. We're just going to fold that back over. Now, you'll notice that I've got four sheets of grey vacuum foam the product that is um, in the base of the press. Now, when you buy a sheet of vacuum foam, it comes in an eight foot by four foot sheet. Um, plenty enough, there's probably enough, four sheet, enough for four sheets of, of foam in the base of the press. Um, because of the, the raised texture going against the glass, we need to actually protect that raised texture against the glass. So here we're gonna use the four sheets of the foam. We're just gonna lay it on top of the silicon release film. So it gives the surface of the print some protection from the actual glass. So again, close down, put the latches on. So we'll switch the pump on. Oh, press the start button. You'll notice here that we've got it set at four minutes and 20. Again, the 20 seconds is to allow for the cycle to work. 
um, four minutes. Because of the thickness of the foam, we've got four layers of foam in there, so that's going to take some absorption of heat coming through. And we're also actually going to back off the pressure. So you'll, we'll wait until it's actually got to full pressure. As I said, should take about 20 seconds. It's taken a little bit longer, probably because of the actual foam that's in there. There's a lot of air that's trapped within the foam. You can see that it's coming up to pressure. Once it's getting up to pressure, what we're going to do is we're actually going to back this off. So we're going to use the pressure adjustment gauge. We're just going to wind that out. We're going to back the pressure off to about halfway, just before halfway on the dial. And again, you'll notice that oh, that should be fine. Reading probably about one o'clock on the dial. And as I say, it's going to be in there for about four minutes and 20 seconds. So we'll just wait for that to process. Okay, so we've taken it out of the press, it's finished its cycle, uh, and you'll notice now that it's bonded down onto the surface of the board. Um, all the raised areas, all the, uh, the oil that's been raised, uh, they're still all raised, there's no, um, it hasn't flattened it down at all. And again, ready for framing.